Hey, Tim Vandersloos here. All right, revisit, coming back again here, another CNC machine. That's what's next. All right, so some of you may have watched that video about the Shape Oco 2. The good people over at Inventables, they decided to, that uh, they'd send me a, a, a CNC machine that was the Shape Oco 2 at that time, and I could use it and review it. And uh, they, they'd give it to me for those purposes and to do some projects and, and help share it with my community. Well, the Shape Oco 2 project kind of had a parting of ways, so to speak. And the Shape Oco people went one way and Inventables went another way. It happens, it's business. But I was sitting there with this Shape Oco 2 and I was wondering, well, how am I going to do these videos that I wanted to do and these projects with the CNC? Uh, because Inventables, they gave me this product and uh, now they're not even selling it. So what do I do? And about the time those thoughts were going through my head and I was finishing up plans for the next CNC project, Inventables contacted me back and said, hey, our X card machine is out now. We'd love to send you a, an X card for your review. Set it up, test it out, give us some feedback, and let us know what you think. So, I said yes, of course. And they sent me out the X card. Now, it's hard to see. I got a lot of stuff in the way here. To get this machine all set up and stuff like that, I had to build a new table. I had to shift everything over, and I'm still in the process of shifting everything over in the art room here and so you can see the the edge of the bandsaw right here now once I got the table built I started setting up the uh, X carve by Inventables now the X carve as compared to the the shape Oco 2 the X carve was fantastic to set up it has a lot more consolidated parts so there's half the parts of the system I set up before and the instructions are extremely thorough they're they're just a lot better now maybe it's the second time around because I've, I've I'm familiar with the terminology now and I'm familiar with uh, the parts and everything else it went together really well now I'm not one of those people that could just throw something together overnight it took weeks okay a little bit at a time now I got some other projects going on and so you know I just worked on it little by little I got it set up uh, in my spare time until I got it up and running. Now, from that point, it was like, okay, well, let's dial it in. Now, dialing it in, dialing it in was the, the, the tricky part, all right? Um, because it's such a longer machine, um, it's uh, 1,000 millimeter square. The rails are much longer. Uh, it took a little bit more tweaking to get it just right, but the forum, and Venable's forum, on the X carve is fantastic. Most of the answers you can find there, and you know you can just get it done. And that's basically what I did. I went and researched the forum, found the answers I needed, made the little tweaks and adjustments, and up and run it went. So one of the first projects was to see just what kind of detail I could get because I got a one, uh, let's see a one thirty second bit, uh, which is super small for doing really super super fine detail. And uh, I wanted to see just what would happen with it. So I went ahead and, and did this. I'll bring up some images to show you. And this project was the first one. I was just kind of off the top of my head. And, and I just wanted to see what would happen. It went really good. Uh, the spindle lasted. It was about an hour and a half run to get it done. And everything worked out good. It came out good. In fact, it came out so good, I kind of wished I had done it on better wood. This is just a, a scrap piece of cedar that I had, um, you can see on the back, gone through a couple development stages. Okay, it's not working, it's not working. Make some tweaks and adjustments. Got a good one out. And, and now it's time to, to get out there, start really learning the software, because what I have in store is using the CNC machine to do a lot of the background removal and some of the detailing of basic detail of certain areas that, that really are just kind of tedious that I think that the, the CNC machine will do, and the X-Car, so far, looks like we'll definitely do it. So that's what's coming up. I wanted to show it off to you, you see it running a little bit. And in future videos, I'm going to keep working on the software, keep working on learning how to use it, figure out the, the ins and outs of this machine. 
I want to say thank you to Inventables for keeping me in mind and sending me the x -Carp. So far, this is a fantastic machine, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Still really learning it. So videos are going to come sporadically here and there on the CNC machine as I learn the software and put it out. And eventually, I'll get into some high detail stuff where, where I'm really showing off the direction I think that the CNC and power carving can come together and really make some fantastic stuff. All right. So until next time, be safe, have fun, and enjoy all your power carving experiences. Talk to you later.